Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. If you are interested in starting your own cooking channel, then don't go anywhere. All right, like we said in the beginning of this video, that we are here to help you start a YouTube cooking channel. I have got a playlist made up right here. I'll put the card that will guide you through all the processes of starting a cooking channel. But today we are going to be talking about sound and voiceover and why it is so important. So with me, I have a very special guest. Her name is Josie Road from The Road to Good Cooking. I will put her link in the description box and also a card right above here where you can go and click on her channel. But for right now, we're gonna talk about sound quality and voiceover quality. So take it away, Josie. Hello, I'm Josie Rode from the YouTube channel, The Road to Good Cooking. Chef Polite invited me to discuss the importance of great sound quality. You can shoot the best video footage in the world, but if your viewers are so distracted by annoying background noise, chances are they're just gonna click off your channel and go somewhere else. Now you've lost a viewer and they probably won't stop back by your channel. That was pretty annoying, wasn't it? Listening to that meat grinder, you could see it. You knew it was gonna make a noise. There's no reason to have the sound on. So let me reset that scene up and with a voiceover and some nice soft music behind it. Great Sausage starts off with good quality meat and a great sausage grinder. This here is my favorite piece of kitchen equipment, my LEM meat grinder. If you're really serious about making your own homemade sausage, I would highly recommend you purchasing dedicated equipment for making sausage. Using the right equipment for sausage making will make your life so much easier. Plus, you will start cranking out some amazing sausage your family and friends will absolutely love. Not all background noise is annoying or bothersome to the ears. Some noises are pleasant and uh, case in point, this sausage frying. Now listen to it. In this case, I would leave the background noise in and do the voiceover right over it. And then there's background noise that you don't want nobody to hear. <laughs> In this next clip, you'll see me fighting with some breakfast sausage, and I'm trying to master uh, using sheep casings, which are a pain in the butt to work with. Oh, seriously? Okay. I see how to work you guys now. You delicate little suckers. Oh boy. Oh, those are a lot of pain in the butt. When I'm doing my taste testing, Sometimes I can get really carried away because I really do enjoy my own cooking. I had a viewer leave me a comment on my sous vide chicken wings video that read, Times and temps for both the water and the oven would have made this video worth watching. You spent most of the time just eating. The video he was referring to was a 6 minute and 33 second video and he is absolutely correct. I did spend most of the time just eating and those wings were so good they were to die for good. So now I just take a few bites of my dish then I spend more time describing the dish. Sometimes we and that means the video creators have to consider the comments from our viewers. In the next clip, you will hear the news in the background, my beagle devouring her dinner, and me getting my smack on with those delicious sous vide chicken wings. Mm. 
Now check out the same video clip with the description of the food and some soft music. I love the method of sous vide cooking. I have been sous vide cooking a chicken wings for the last couple of weeks experimenting with different recipes and this one is is by far my favorite. The meat is so tender, it's flavorful all the way down to the bone and then when you mix it with those pan juices like you see here in this plate, oh my god it just sends the flavor over the top. And one of the benefits to sous vide cooking is the flavorful juices that's saved in the bag. I can always find a good use for those meat juices, especially the chicken broth. Sous vide chicken broth is the best in spicy dipping sauce as, as is pictured here. And look at that bone, just clean. The meat just falls right off of the bone. This is a delicious recipe that your family will absolutely love. Give it a try. Well, that's going to wrap it up for me, and I hope you found some of my information useful. Now, keep in mind, I am not a sound expert by no means, but it does take a little common sense. If you're filming a video and you have noise going on in the background, you got the lawnmower going, you got the baby crying, the dog is barking, keep in mind that everybody doesn't want to hear that noise. They came to your channel to see what you're cooking, to see how you cook it, and perhaps to get some some tips on cooking so we have to be mindful of what's going on in back of us when we're filming chef polite thank you so much for inviting me to your channel and feel free to call on me anytime my friend and i hope everyone will stay blessed and keep on cooking all right well thanks so much josie i appreciate you helping me out here and doing this collaboration video it's so important that everybody knows about the quality of the sound that is involved in your video as well as everything else that goes into it. Like I said, I will put a link right here for Josie's channel and also in the description box there will be a link for her. Go ahead and like her channel, comment on it, subscribe to it, and then share it with everybody you know. I will also leave a link below for the TubeBuddy app that is so important for everybody that wants to get a channel on YouTube. It is so helpful to get your channel the views and the subscribers that you want in order to be successful on YouTube. Thanks a lot for joining. Go over to Josie's channel, like, subscribe, share, and comment. And we will see you next time right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so yet. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below. And then make sure you share this video and this channel with everybody you know. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on It's Only Food. Take care. Bye-bye.